So definitely my most used tool on my boat is my Humminbird 360. Over the years, I've became more and more accustomed to using this all the time, no matter how shallow, how deep I'm fishing, because I feel like I'm a way more efficient angler. And it also builds a lot of confidence. It allows me to know that every time I make a cast, I'm making it in a fishy area, right? So what I like to do is just a quick rundown on my setup is first thing I do is I go and I change my color profile. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can do it. You can go up here. It's gonna come standard on number two, okay? And for me, this image is very blown out and it's hard to de decipher what I'm looking at. So the first thing I do is actually go to the number four palette, which is the brown color. And that really helps to break things up. And then I'm also gonna go and I'm gonna lift my sensitivity, which is here, and my contrast, okay? So they're both gonna start on 10, but I like to bring it up somewhere between generally 13 to 15, depending on how hard or soft your bottom is. Okay, and then I do the same with my contrast. I keep it about 12 to 15, 13 to 15 in that range, depending on what I'm looking for. And that's about it. I leave everything else the same, keep the sharpness off. And the only other thing that I will do is a lot of times when I'm fishing, I will hit zoom in one time and I'll put my range up to about 119, 120 foot so that when I'm casting, it's right on the edge of my screen, right? That's about as far as I can cast. And you can see here, we're sitting still. 360 works best sitting still. I can see this little grass point that comes out here. We're getting a hard return here because the grass is really thick and the shadow that you're seeing behind it is actually the shadow from the other side of the grass. And then you're not seeing a whole lot out here because there's nothing out there. And so this is just kind of a flat, nothing bank coming out. But you see this one little hard spot here. That's a little tiny stump barely sitting up off the surface. And the cool thing is I can press and hold. I can hit go to with my old Trex. I tapped the wrong button actually. But press, hold, hit waypoint, and all of a sudden I've got a waypoint exactly right there, and it's gonna pop up on all my units. So definitely the most efficient way for me to find and locate and pattern bass on the water is my Humminbird 360. One thing to keep in mind is that straight forward of the boat is going to be straight forward on your graph, right? So what is straight in front of me is here. And a lot of times, if you've seen any of the videos of me fishing tournaments, you'll see me actually line my rod up on my graph because I'm giving myself a reference point, right? So we're say 30 degrees off to the right is that waypoint that I just marked on that little stump. And I can lay my rod off my graph and know that that's the angle that I need to make my cast at. And I also know that this first ring is 30 feet, 60 feet, and then 90 feet. So I know it's about 62 or 63 feet off at that angle that I need to make my cast. 30, 60, 90. So a lot of times for me, the biggest thing when I'm fishing tournaments is trying to pattern those fish and really dialing into what is underneath the water, right? These are my underwater eyeballs. I can look out there, I can see out in front of me, right? I can actually see where I'm going and see the types of cover that are out there. And it really helps me dial into those little subtle changes in either a creek channel, in maybe a brush pile or a rock vein that I'm fishing. I can see all those little subtle differences where those fish like to hang out and where they're gonna position. And so it just makes me a lot more efficient and it makes me a lot more confident that I know when I'm making my cast that there's actually something there that I believe a fish is holding next to. And there's actually times that I'll see the fish on my 360 sitting around those types of cover. Uh, and that's really important for me. The other cool thing is that a lot of times when you're just fishing down the bank, 
you know, you're fishing at a slow pace and you're fishing down, I will see things out to the side or out in front of me that are under the water, off the bank, that other anglers are missing. And if you don't have 360, you would never know they were there. And a lot of those pieces of cover that I've seen have actually ended up becoming in tournaments, some of my go-to spots and places that I catch a lot of my bigger fish off of. So if you are looking to up your electronics game, right? maybe you don't like to mess around with electronics, but if you are somebody that likes to use electronics and wants to up your game in that category, definitely need to check out the Humminbird 360. No doubt in my mind, it makes you a better angler out on the water.